Hello and welcome to part one of mine and Joe's playthrough of South Park The Stick of Truth. So, you've been highly enjoying this game for a while now, haven't you? Yes, it's about July. Yeah. I borrowed it off Farrah and I played it through. I need to buy it for myself. <laughs> You're going for the most unlikable person ever, aren't you? God damn you. So, as you can tell, we're not going to be taking this seriously. Okay, okay, Joe's got them giving away the class he's picking. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, Joe has always skipped the intro cutscene and shows Cap and beating up drow elves. Yeah, because they, they, they were pale, they're paler than your normal yeah, better, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, try that there, actually. Yeah. I haven't done it yet. Let's see how he's doing. I think it's kind of like in Fallout, where your dad is the same skin colour as you are. Yeah. Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? <laughs> I know it's a big thing <gasps> for all I just wanted to look at already. Do you remember why we moved to this bright little mountain town? That's good, that's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play. Stop me, shut up! Like normal kids. I don't have hair now. Now. Yeah, we love you too. Your dad's a bit of a dick in this, isn't he? No, go get your good stuff. Oh, well, you're not level two yet, aren't you? No. Uh, Joe installed some DLC, which is like. Uh, That's quite, yeah, can I get it straight from the room at the beginning? Well, you're not level two yet, are you? Yeah, but you can still carry stuff. Storage. No. Yeah. Oh, you need to pick your class, don't you, before you can wield anything. Fucking Hold on. Alright. Not yet, anyway, so I'll pick it up when I come back to the house later. Yeah. And this is the European version, so... Bits are cut, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, Joe... Yeah, bits. Yeah. Joe was really looking forward to seeing the anal probing in the in the spaceship section. Kind of was. Congratulations, Joe. You've outed yourself to YouTube with what... what? I know you do! Right, from now on this character's called General Disarray. Well, it's yours older brother. Yeah, don't skip any of that cat bit. Can I be Commandant Disarray? Probably just turned her on. Probably, yeah. Should go upstairs and give her a good go with a far finger fist. Welcome! Is it just me or is Karma look out of focus? No, really, it's shit. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. 
And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kitty. The fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kitty wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. I think that chick needs a flower. <laughs> And quest done. <laughs> <laughs> you have been sought out here, kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Yeah, don't you get a trophy if you just say you just say you call douchebag? No, unfortunately not. I'll be nameless. You entered douchebag. Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. The mage is like a wizard only not his shoes. The fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. The mage is like a wizard only you look sneaky enough to be a thief. You huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. I like how the Jew looks like a friggin' demon. Welcome to the KKK, Wait, yeah. you. You can also handle our finances. Hooray! Now please go... Oh, I can't, man. I can't wait to keep the shit out of here. Dreadle, dreadle, dreadle. Dreadle, I need you already play. Dreadle, dreadle, dreadle. The dreadle light will play. I know what I've got to do. I've got to look at the Rock of Insanity. Right, what does that do? Be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay, you're insane now. Okay, you're healed. <laughs> Daddy! Yeah. My oral pain is as incurable as my diabetes. Let me stop! You know what? You're basically as far as his mouth as he can't put his tongue away. Would you like to see my wares weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Don't waste your money on tips and rumors. It's important. Yeah. Ah, a lovely purchase. And you need to equip it? Yep. Uh, I already know the title of this episode is going to be. Cometh the Jew. Probably something like that. I've got all the glasses on. Yeah. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up that. What? Kick like that, new kid. What I do? I'm a king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new king, kick his ass. The Jew cometh. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's late. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, you back. Fast Clyde's face Don't be shy. Don't be shy. See? Slinger Dave is always good. I played a Jew character. Alright, I'm actually going to end part one here. So thank you for watching and I will see you in part two.